eager faces await the opening of FAO Schwartz. Just a few more chances to smile and pose with the real-life toy soldiers. The world's most famous toy store has been the place of fantasies for nearly 30 years here. But up against Fifth Avenue's rising rents, playtime at this iconic location will soon be over. We've been bringing the grandchildren and the kids for many, many years. I mean, to play with the toys, with the piano and all that. And it's sad to see it going. It's not like a normal toy store. It's like trying to find something that shows your personality and the personality of the store. It's a palace of toys. From handmade dollhouses to a $1,500 stuffed panda, there's plenty of unique options. My name is Stanley Newsbomb, and I am a news anchor. For Joe and Ryan, it was a Muppet. I've decided on an orange body. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at eyeballs. FAO Schwartz's Muppet Workshop was the only place where these two could customize their very own puppet. I think the coolest thing is the fact that you get to actually watch them put the, pu the puppet together. Uh, actually gluing the pieces onto the face and the hair and putting the clothes on. Get to watch it take shape right in front of you. FAO Schwartz has been struggling with its business model for years, facing competition online and from cheap retailers. Yet other boutique toy stores have adapted and even thrived. In many cases, parents are willing to spend more money. Take, for example, this high-end doll store on Fifth Avenue. They've found a way to not just sell the product, but to cash in on the experience. American Girl Place gives customers an incentive to return, to get their doll's ears pierced or hair done, and even have a fancy lunch with your doll. It's priceless because this experience is not just going to a Toys R Us or an FAO Schwartz, buying things and leaving. It's the whole whining and dining experience. It's matching outfits. It's so cute. And it's just a fun day for the, for the kids. FAO Schwartz says it is committed to building on the legacy of the brand through a new flagship location in the city. Until then, New York will be a little less playful. Netta Taufit, BBC News, New York.